events of the year. Fortunately for us, the video of Cheer in My Beard debuted on Nashville Now. I'd like to, I'd like to go to Big Bill Lister. Well, for, let me go to you, Merle. I want you to introduce Big Bill Lister properly, and uh, let's background him. And then, Big Bill, I want you to tell us about. No, fighting. I'm going to introduce him. Merle introduces everybody. Okay. All right. <laughs> this gentleman here played guitar for Daddy, and. Believe it or not, he is one of the finest firearms engravers around. To think that a guy 6'7", with his big old gangly hands, could do that. Uh, and we've known each other not only in the musical field, but hunting wild hogs and all kind of stuff down in Texas. And, and uh, for that to happen, we didn't go over there that day with that in mind. We were talking about gun grips and stuff, and he said, here, take this record with you, by the way. <laughs> anyway, that's where it all started. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bernie, Texas, Daddy's old guitar player, Big Bill Lister. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Big Bill, how did you happen to run across a tear in my beer? Well, Ralph, it, uh, long story, as I say, this started back in 1951. I needed the beer tune. I was recording for Capitol Records at that time, and I was short a tune. We were in off the road. I'd been uh, front man for Hank Williams on the road out of the Grand Ole Opry, and we were in, uh, in late October 1951. Hank had a session one night for MGM. I had a session the next night for Capitol. And uh, I told Hank the night, I was down in Kibitz and the boys at the studio that night, the old castle studios here in town. And I told Hank, I'm really hurting, buddy. I need a song, a beer drinking song. And he said, don't worry about it. I'll fix you up one that'll cock their pistol. And I assume I left, <laughs> I left early that night, and I assume that after they got through with the session, Hank cut this demo. You re remember in 1951, we didn't have the convenience of tapes and mm -hmm. cassettes and being easy to do it. But he recorded that apparently right there in Castle Studio. Got a demo. It, the demo. It's just him and his guitar. All right. Now, did you did subsequently did you record this for Capitol? Yes. Uh, the next morning after. Hank told me he'd get a tune. He brought me that demo. I learned it that morning, went in the studio that night and recorded it for Capitol. Hank and I felt like we had a real winner then. We didn't know it was going to take 38 years and both see for show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. So you, you, were, you went down to see him, and he, he brought out the old demo. Yeah. Right. Now, I have, I have another demo from the same stack same box right that, and, and it's it's an old what we call an acetate what it, it's an aluminum base and it has an acetate covering and the grooving is in the acetate <clears throat> excuse me you live in texas it's hot in texas and everybody have everybody has asked me right. how in the world all those summers did that acetate survive in the attic I don't know. I'll tell you what, in July and August, you might near bake Indian bread in my attic down there. <laughs> and uh, out of about 12 or 15 records that was in that box, Tear in My Beer, and about two more records came out perfect. The rest of those records look just like that one yeah. you just showed. Right. It is, uh, when you heard it, it's it, meant to be. When you heard it, Hank, did you, did you immediately get the idea to record with your father? Well, not immediately, because, uh, you know, uh, Merle listened to it, I listened to it, you know, and you just don't imagine a new song by Daddy that's been around for uh, almost 40 years. And, uh, you know, it takes a while to, to hit you. You know, we, we couldn't believe it. And, you know, we called different people and said, have you ever heard that song? No. You ever heard it? No. You ever heard of it? No. So what we had was uh, an original song of daddy's an original hank williams song that had never been recorded except by bill and his uh you know we, we didn't know about that either until merle and bill told me so I, then i was ready i said this is something i've always wanted to do mm -hmm. we did all that other when they threw my voice on when i was 17 18 years old with daddy i said now i want to do one on a uh 
an equal basis with him as if we were doing a brand new do it duet and to me uh that's the biggest thrill that i'll ever have doing that all right well, we're going to play the video for you i think this and this video by the way is uh, has been nominated for video of the year and i think it'll win it's a classic as hank jr sings with hank senior <laughs> 